Hey guys, welcome to this video. Today I have a little art supplies haul, art, craft type haul. Um, it's mainly new stuff for my bullet journal, so here we go. I'm excited. I'm really excited to use this stuff because today is actually March 1st, and um, usually I get my bullet journal done before the new year, and then I end up uploading a video like on the first or a little after, but I'm going to be doing it today, but um, it's been a it's been a crazy week this week. Um, so yeah, mainly all this stuff is for my bullet journal. So speaking of bullet journals, we'll just start off with this. This is my new bullet journal. Um, this is the call it a journal, and I actually went ahead and went for the dotted. I don't know if you can see this, but. I went for the dotted just to make things a little easier if I wanted to do more minimal looks. Sometimes I go for a more collage type thing so it doesn't really matter. But I really like this color and I thought it would be cool. It's about the same size as the one that I use. I like the size. I don't like it to be smaller. And it's thin so I'm really excited about this. It looks like a professional cool color. Um, I got this from Michaels. They come in all different colors in this same kind of leathery finish. So they have tons. They have the dotted. I think they have a grid and then plain. So yeah, this is from Michaels and it was at ten dollars I think. So yeah. So the next thing I got is this jelly roll pen. Um, at first I got a pack of three, but I was like, I don't need that many yet, you know. So this is just one. I got this from Michaels too. Um, Michaels sells them individually. Hobby Lobby, I, I only found them in the pack. So I went, Michaels had just an individual pin and I wanted to do like revert like negatives. So like make the picture out of white rather than making it in black, if you know what I mean. So yeah, I like this pin. Or I haven't used it yet, but hopefully I like it. And then I got another Micron pen. I didn't kind of mean to get this. I even opened it because I thought that I got the same size that I already had. And I was like, <laughs> I didn't, but I didn't necessarily need this. I thought it was different, but it's fine. It's just this, it's a thicker. It's the 0.45. I think I got this from Hobby Lobby, so. Okay, and then the last two boring things um, are this craft or art wire if you watch my diy with me you would know that it didn't turn out so good i'm gonna cut it so i don't have to work with such a thing hopefully this cuts it no i don't know what i thought i was trying to do okay i don't know what i'm gonna do uh, why is this happening i wanted to cut how can i do this and it's like legit, so it's not just gonna break, you know? It's not cheap. I don't know what I'm going to do. It was because I had the wrong wire. Um, I, I'm not an amateur, like it would have worked out. I just bought the wrong wire and I didn't even know it. So this is the wire that I was actually supposed to get and it's, they call it German style wire and the wire that I, I used in that video was memory wire. So whatever that means, it just wasn't the right one, so. Here's the right one. I got this from Hobby Lobby and it was $3.99. And then I got some wire cutters. So I'll have to use scissors or a nail tip cutter. And these are $5.99 from Hobby Lobby. I've also found that Hobby Lobby, sometimes Hobby Lobby doesn't have things and then they do have things and then Michaels doesn't have things, but then they do. Sometimes they're better. So I really have to go to both, especially I don't, if I want to stay local. So the next things I have are really cool. <clears throat> so I was at, I went to the store called Tuesday morning. I think I've only been there like once before, but yeah, I've never really been there. So when I went there, they have, it's kind of like a, I think it's in the same family as Home Goods and what else? What's that other one? Home Goods and I can't think of the other ones, but in that same family. Um, so they had an art, like a crafting section. And so I found all of these um, ink pads. And then that gave me the idea to do 
my this month's bullet journal and like completely stamps and like with ink pads and a stamp so the majority of the design is going to be like with a stamp I thought that would be cool a nice change so I wouldn't get bored so I got these ink pads they were all $1.99 which is sometimes ink pads can be like if you go to Michaels they're like $5.99 $7.99 so hopefully these aren't dried out I haven't checked them but I got a pink I can't really tell what the brand is something works but it doesn't really matter I got pink red blue yellow gold my gold color or yeah tan bronze black purple or fuchsia -ish color a dark green and a sky blue so i'm really excited to use those and then you can't have ink pads without stamps so the stamps are like the last things that I got that are in this haul. So I got a few different kinds. I got traditional stamps. These are from Tuesday morning as well. And it's just like random stuff, like um, in like little circle stamps. So there's like lollipops, donuts, coffee, ice cream. These are $3.49. And I also got these from Tuesday morning. And it's like camera, cacti, um, a giraffe, a hot says hi a heart so for those two this was 249 and then I also got these number ones and this was 199 from Tuesday morning as well um because I, I already had um letter ones like this and then also from no I'll finish this so for the last two traditional stamps I got these from Michaels and it's a flower and a sunflower and I'm going with a spring flowery theme um, for my March spread. So these are on sale for $3 and $2 because stamps can get expensive, especially like something like this. Um, so I would be kind of interested in making my own stamps. But yeah, I think these are super cute. And then lastly, I got a bunch of clear stamps. What do they call these? Yeah, clear stamps. I've never used a, um, a clear stamp before, so I'm interested in trying these. I got this flower set. It was on sale at Michael's for, it was originally $9.99, but I got it for less than that. Um, it was like 50% off, I think. And then I got this set, and it's like bubbles, and it says, today was, hello. It's like little decorative speech bubbles. And this was $1.99. And then I got this little one. It just says thankful, grateful, and it's like arrows. This, oh, that was $0.99. Cents. And then I got this one, which is, it says hello, goodbye. It's like fill in the blank style, um, which can be really cool for, like, I'm not sure what I'm trying to say. But like for your planner. This can be really cool for your planner or if you make your, use your planner for your bullet journal. Um, so this is $1.99. And then I got this just like design one that would be good for like a background and then you write over it and it's just like arrows and it's $3.99. And the last thing I got was from Tuesday morning and it's this clear case. And it hold, it's holding all of my stuff. And this was only $3.99. If you go somewhere like Michael's or Hobby Lobby, this would be like $10. So I really like this. And it's probably going to hold all of my stamps and stuff. Because I don't really have a stamp collection, but now I do. That was everything in this haul. Like I said, it was just a mini little haul. And I wanted to show some new things that I'll be using in my bullet journal video. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you next time. Bye.